Terra Luna retakes top spot of most trending crypto as traders bet on price rise. Volatility to crypto traders is nothing new, and the turbulence for the Terra, Luna ecosystem and its subsequent relaunch as Luna 2.0 in the last couple of months has not been favorable. Despite the recent scandals, Luna has managed to recover some of its value in the last seven days gaining over 30%. Over the past 24 hours, Luna has once again reclaimed the lead as the most trending crypto, according to CoinMarketCap data. Indeed, Luna is the most searched on the CoinMarketCap platform out of all the cryptocurrencies as of August 2, followed by PancakeSwap, Cake and Terra Classic, LUNC, the original chain of the collapsed Terra ecosystem, in the third spot. Despite trending, the price of the cryptocurrency has seen a drop of 15.46% in the last 24 hours, trading at $2.14 at the time of publication. It's worth mentioning that the Terra ecosystem had shown signs of life and recovered somewhat from the crisis when its algorithmic stablecoin became unpegged from the dollar. The climb in the last seven days is indicative that the investors believe that Luna and Terra Classic can succeed in the crypto space. Meanwhile, LUNC continues to gain interest among investors, its weekly market volume has reached $1.1 billion as of August 2. Despite its collapse in May, the token appears to be earning the support of its community as it continues to trend. However, the fact that the value of both assets has decreased over the past 24 hours, suggests that the price volatility associated with both cryptocurrencies has not yet been eliminated. Further, a team of investigators from the Seoul Southern District Prosecutor's Office raided several local cryptocurrency exchanges, including Upbit, on July 20. Moreover, transaction records and materials considered valuable for the investigation have been seized, in an attempt to straighten out the significant losses that ensued for the investors. Finally, the Ministry of Justice of Korea issued a notice upon arrival for Terraform Lab CEO Du Kwon and a travel restriction for Terra co-founder Shin Hyun Song as the investigation of the collapse continues. Terra's lunar crash wiped out $3 billion from hashed portfolio. Hashed, an early investor in Terra's Luna, now Luna Classic token, lost around $3 billion in May's crash. Hashed CEO and crypto investor Simon Seo Joon Kim revealed the loss in a recent interview with Bloomberg released on Wednesday. Founded in 2017, Hashed is a crypto venture capital firm based in San Francisco and Seoul. CEO Kim is a so-called crypto evangelist credited for backing outfits like the Sandbox in its early days. Kim disclosed that Hashed adopted a similar approach when it decided to invest in Luna. The crypto VC splurged the big bucks on Terra's governance token, scooping up some 30 million coins. In April 2022, Luna hit an all-time high of $120. At the time, the coins owned by Hashed hit a valuation of around $3.6 billion. However, the euphoria from what seemed like a smart investment was short-lived as a historical crash followed swiftly. A month later in May, Terra's Luna and UST tokens collapsed, shaving off some $40 billion from investors' pockets and companies' portfolios. Despite the blow to Hashed's bag, Kim noted that the VC firm believes in the future of the cryptocurrency industry. Kim added that Hashed could deploy funds towards supporting blockchain gaming and might raise fresh capital to this effect. The ripple effects from the fall of Luna and TerUSD continued to surface months after UST depegged in May and Luna fell below pennies. Wednesday's hashed revelation is the latest in a string of companies shaken by the crash. Indeed, while hashed seems poised to carry on, other crypto companies have fared worse in the wake of the collapse. Firms like Celsius and Three Arrows Capital already filed for bankruptcy. Both companies are undergoing liquidation proceedings at press time. Contagion from the crash also spread to centralized exchanges like Zipmex, as well as crypto brokers like Voyager Digital. Pioneering lunar investor hashed plots crypto comeback. In the tech sector, there is no such thing as a portfolio that guarantees success, and we make our investments with that in mind. We believe in the community's growth and that has never changed, said Kim. Hashed big on blockchain gaming. When asked about the kind of investments his new fund will be paying attention to, Kim stated that GameFi projects are his interests. He cited the growth trajectory of the sector from a small niche to becoming one of the main use cases of distributed ledger technology. GameFi has weathered the storms of the crypto winter, making steady strides in the face of unfavorable headwinds. 
Kim claims that the rise of game FI projects will lead to the creation of a vast number of jobs as assets worth millions of dollars are exchanged between the real world and the virtual. In an interview with Bloomberg, Simon Seo Joon Kim, founder of Hashed, revealed that his company will stage a comeback, setting the wheels in motion to raise a third VC fund by the end of August 2023. He adds that he is not giving up on the industry after suffering losses running into billions of dollars following Terra's collapse. Hashed held over 30 million Luna tokens, reaching a valuation of $3.5 billion at the height of Luna's powers. His decision to go all in with a new fund stands in contrast with the available data. VC funding for blockchain companies has taken a hit in recent months, a staggering 31% decline from the start of the year. However, this is not Kim's first rodeo with GameFI. His company was an early investor in the Sandbox, a fast-rising metaverse world, and in Sky Mavis, creators of Axie Infinity. The fiasco around Terra's collapse has damaged Kim's reputation after local South Korean news outlets accused him of profiting from the implosion. However, he denied involvement, saying that he lost 99% of his early investment in the crash. The assets that we invest in are experimental, and we have always kept it a rule to not make any trade recommendation, he said. His comments were a rebuttal to claims that he hyped up the Luna before dumping them on other unsuspecting investors. With that, we've come to the end of the video, kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon for more interesting daily cryptocurrency predictions. If you find this video helpful and interesting, kindly consider liking and sharing our videos with your friend. If you have any questions or contribution kindly drop them on the comment section below. Disclaimer. Please keep in mind that this isn't financial advice, we take no responsibility for any loss or damage caused by your actions or inactions as a result of watching any of our videos. You acknowledge that you use the information we provide at your own risk. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.